Hey guys, welcome back, and I can't tell you how happy I am right now because they found my phone. I mean, I lost it, what, it's been like two, three weeks now. As we were coming back from England, as some of you may know, I left my phone in Salt Lake City on our layover. And unfortunately, everything was so hectic that day, we were running late for all of our planes and all the lines were taking extra long that we were in such a rush that when I went to the restroom, I had set my phone down inside one of the stalls and I forgot to pick it up as we were leaving because I knew we had to get back to the terminal really quick or we had to get back to the gate really quick. And so it was literally like two to five minutes later that I realized, I don't have my phone on me and I rushed back to the bathroom because I was almost positive that's where I left it and of course it wasn't there. Somebody had already grabbed it. So after that happened I was like I don't know what to do. We have to leave in 20 minutes and I don't have my phone. I had all this footage on there. So I was able to talk to one of the people who worked there and kind of let him know what happened. He said you just have to go online and make a claim or you go all the way over to Lost and Found which of course I couldn't do because I was outside of security. We had to leave in 20 minutes and it already took an hour and a half to get through security so I just had to accept it. My phone was lost. So as soon as we made it back home, I filed a claim and I, pretty much every day after that, I've been checking the website because they have like, a, because they post everything that's been on Lost and Found with pictures and stuff. So I was checking it either way, but they emailed me back saying, hey, we got your claim, but there is nothing here that matches that description. So I'm like, ah, well, maybe somebody just stole it. I don't know. About two weeks after that, I get a phone call on my replacement phone, and it's from an unknown caller, and I have no idea, but I answer, and it's Delta. Apparently, the phone got sent to them instead of at the airport, it just because it was in their terminal. I don't understand it, but either way, she calls me and she says, hey, I've got this phone that matches your claim, and she described it, and I'm like, that's it, that's my phone. And she was able to direct me to how to get it shipped right back to me, and unfortunately it took like a week because it was over the holiday weekend for us, Independence Day, but it finally came. It showed up, and I have all my footage, it works perfectly, and I am so happy because now I get to share all this bonus footage with you guys of our time in London that I didn't get to show you before. So I hope you guys enjoy and if you do like this kind of content and what we're doing here please consider subscribing because it really does help out the channel. Share it with your friends and your family and anyone else you think might enjoy this kind of content and thank you so much for all your guys' support and for all your love about me losing my phone and the sympathy you shared with that because that was kind of an ordeal for me. I don't like to say that I'm addicted to my phone but I might be just a little bit. So anyway guys, please enjoy all this personal footage of our trip in London. We are relaxed. Don't we look relaxed? No. I'm not relaxed. No? You got a mouthful of something. I do. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, Ethan was not relaxed. He was always so stressed with these flights. Yeah. I love this point when we break through the clouds, but you're still low enough, you can see the city. And then you're above all the clouds. Touchdown in Detroit. Another angle of that tram that goes through the terminal in Detroit. Stop for a drink. And then back up in the sky again. Now this airplane was pretty cool, even though it sucked. We did have a lot of extra seats and room. So that part was nice, but it didn't help too much. I 
think that's London. Touchdown at Heathrow. This bridge was so cool. I believe it's Chelsea Bridge. I can't tell you how much I love the Thames, as you can tell by all the footage I have of it. It was so pretty just walking next to it. Very peaceful. Now Battersea Park was pretty cool to walk through. We did most of that on the first day. There's a herring. The pagoda, I believe. Another angle of that awesome bridge. This is my second favorite bridge of all of London. This church or museum or building was quite unique. And it was really close to where our hotel was. We just kind of stumbled across it one evening. I found it interesting that there was like a whole side courtyard where they were playing football. Some random walkway. Don't remember where this was. What are you trying to do? We're walking the Thames. We're walking down. Or the Thames. Or the Thames. I've heard it several ways now and I'm not sure. I we're, think it's the Thames. We're walking to the, one of the Gordon Ramsay's. It's like a pizzeria thing. Yeah. We're gonna have dinner. Get some yum yum in my tummy. But I love this view. The river is awesome. I and love then it. look at the buildings. What I love is my whole head is higher than this. Yeah, I can't even get you in the shot. That's gonna make for a weird thing. It's like you uh, talk, we work with I it. talk. We both talk. Yeah, this little stretch though is one of the nicest stretches, like mm -hmm. just the river. And the boats are super yeah. cool. Like house boats on here, it's really cool. Yeah. I don't know how much you can hear. I'll try to put subtitles if you can't. Just wanted to capture this moment right now. That moment. <laughs> I thought the pizza was actually really good, although it was overpriced. Even for London <laughs> prices, it was like 16 bucks a pizza. But then you could have as much as you want. And finally at King's Crossing, getting ready to start our next adventure. Stay tuned for Edinburgh.